Hello everyone, I'm back. First we're heating the skillet and I'm gonna add grapeseed oil because it has a high cooking point. And we let that heat up. And I'd also like to say that I heated the skillet prior to adding the oil. Next we're gonna add a little butter. And let that melt. Look at that butter sizzle. Oh, I don't know about you, but I just love butter. I love butter. Next, we're going to add garlic. Because after all, it is garlic, butter, scallops. And then, I'm going to add a little fresh red pepper because I like it spicy. We don't want to, the mistake I made in this video was letting this cook a little too long before adding the scallops. And then, because you don't want your garlic to burn, I probably should have added the garlic uh, when I got ready to flip the scallops. But nevertheless, they were still delicious. And so now, I'm going to take my scallops and dry the water off of them. I'm going to take a paper towel and pat them dry. Scallops already have a lot of water as is. And so you want to dry as much water off of them as possible before you cook, before you cook them or they won't sear properly. That will stir to incorporate those flavors. Now, we add the scallops. Mm, look at those scallops. Look how plump and juicy and succulent they are. Sea scallops. Like butter. Oh my. I just love them. They're so sweet when they're cooked properly. When they're from cold water, that makes them a little more sweet. Just want to make sure they're not sticking. Because my skillets are fairly new. And as you know, it takes a while to season them properly. But look at that butter. Look at that butter doing this thing. Now it's time to turn them over. Ooh, look at that sear. A nice little crisp. Yeah. Ooh, that one is real pretty. Mm. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I'm gonna let them cook a little longer. Please don't ask me how long I cook them because if you know me, then you know I don't time anything. I'm gonna say maybe three minutes on each side and some of them maybe a little longer because they were a little larger than the other scallops. All right, now as you can see, I'm removing them from the skillet one by one because like I stated earlier, some scallops are a little larger than others. Man, I can't wait to eat that little crispy piece. See that little crispy piece I just took out? Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at him. Ooh. Now they are done. And as you can see, I'm cutting them with a butter nut. Oh, look how that sliced in there. It's like butter. One of these days, I'm going to do a mukbang. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. But for those of you that don't know, I film a large portion of these videos in my skivvies. With my hair standing all over my head. <laughs> so, I can't show that on camera. Oh, look how juicy that is. Ooh-wee! You see how easily it slices? 
Let me give you a close up. Look how juicy they still are. Oh my. And take one more bite. Butter garlic. And there you have it. My scallops. But I wanted I wanted to tell you is on next week's episode is going to be keto ice cream. I had to play around with the recipe a little bit, and so that's why you know I haven't been it. It's not posted yet, but I promise you, I'm bringing you that recipe. I had to try a couple different recipes and things like that. Anyhow, I think I found a recipe that's going to work, but one way or another, it's going to be posted next week. So I'll see you guys later.